You would be surprised to know that most people adopt an avatar mindset in the workplace and only revert back to their authentic mindset when in the safety of their own home. You see, we're all actors, whether you believe it or not. Imagine playing a different character every day of your life. That was James Carey life. He got paid millions of dollars to play the character assigned to him by his Hollywood producers. He'd bank the paycheck without truly understanding what he was doing. Playing different characters made him feel like a puppet. As an actor, he couldn't play himself. And that was something he yearned for a long time. His avatar actor mindset took over his authentic mindset of the true Jim Carrey. So Jim realized he played this character to make these people happy. But this character didn't make him happy. Unhappy and depressed, he asked himself the next two questions. Who would I be without all this fame? Who would I be if I said things people didn't want to hear? And then he say, what would happen if I defied their expectation by dropping my avatar image in this specific movie? You see, creative people often struggle with these questions. Actors, senior managers, and many professionals across fields spend their career playing character characters and projecting facade that do not represent who they are in real life. They live to please their audience, customers, bosses, investors, and others, because any deviation could be a career suicide for them. Salespeople and entrepreneurs do exactly the same thing. They live to serve and please others. Their emotions and feelings are often set aside to project a sense of professionalism and likability. Expressing oneself can be counterproductive and might lead to friction and a loss of trust. You have to be respectful and keep a professional demeanor no matter how abusive and demeaning your customer might be sometimes. Jim Carrey said, if it is so easy to lose yourself, then who the hell are you? Losing your identity is a real issue in the workplace. Losing who you are and what you stand for make you feel like a stranger in your own body. It's like you are being guided by an alien mindset that takes over your mental capacity and senses. You want to do something about it, but feel paralyzed, deprived of willpower and desire. True happiness occur when you are being yourself and masks are raw. Being yourself at the workplace and beyond is risky, especially if you are opinionated and have a strong views that could get you marginalized or even fired sometimes. Yet you know that the reward of being authentic gives you meaning and purpose. Allowing your avatar mindset to guide your authentic mindset can erase your true self. Your avatar mindset should not be allowed to become the default software that runs your own identity. Your physical body cannot become just a piece of hardware deprived of originality and uniqueness. And the only way to free yourself is to find what you stand for as a human being. Being yourself in public take a lot of inner strength. Here is how to do it. Try this, it might work for you. Show your true self to someone you trust. Experience the emotion of how it feels to be vulnerable and free of pretense or falsehood. Do they judge you or burn your dream to the ground or not? Next, go beyond one person and gradually open yourself to the public or a larger circle, if you will. The more confident you become, the easier you can adopt an authentic mindset as your default setting. Jim Carrey said in his 2014 commencement speech, we are not the avatars we create. We are the light that shines through. The avatars of your social media profiles are really you. They are an image 
of who you are when you're trying to sell the world. The light Jim Carrey talks about is your ability to inspire people through your everyday so-called normal life. Your life is normal when the authentic mindset version of you is your current self. Your avatar mindset should be the realistic portray of who you are, not who you're trying to be or sell others. So try this in my work as well. Share lessons from your life. Dare to show people your raw, sometimes broken side, because it make you more authentic, more real, and more relatable. No one is perfect in an imperfect universe. When you feel depressed, you should know that depression is your body saying, I don't want to be this character anymore. I don't want to allow this avatar mindset to take over my life. It's too much work trying to be someone I am not. Jim Carrey had suffered episodes of depression for much of his life. He reports in the last few years that it's finally gone away. Part of the reason his depression is gone is that he stopped playing different characters 24-7. He stopped playing his authentic self, not his avatar person that was acting as if the camera was rolling 24-7 in front of him. Being yourself is the best gift you can give to yourself and the world. Think of the word depression as depressed. Jim says, your body enter into depression mode to self-heal from the mental poisoning. The avatar identity seeps into your veins over the years. Depression is healthy as it reboots your system and mind to get rid of the toxins you encounter from the media and people around you. It's a mind rehab that cures your spirit and restores your vitality and peace. If you feel sometimes depressed, try this. Seek deep rest to reboot and restore your mindset. Deep rest means taking long walks, meditation, plenty of sleep, occasional naps, time with your family and friends, and working at what you love. You see, creativity can free you and heals the scars of years living a life that do not really align with your own values. When Jim suffered a broken heart, he decided to paint. So according to a short documentary Jim filmed called I Needed Color, when you feel broken, try creativity. Because brokenness means that your energies are flowing out of control. Regain control of the mind by controlling the flow of creativity and channel it in a specific direction. Creativity is like a portal into a mighty universe of total freedom and limitlessness. Imagine you are a drop of water in the ocean. All you see around you at your scale is trillions of other drops of water. But you miss the ocean's marvels and its diverse creatures because you are too focused on the other drops of water like you. And that's what happened to a human being. Rather than allowing your energies to explore the universe, you live in and beyond. People spend all their life focused on what others are doing rather than focusing what they can do to align their mindset with their authentic self. Creativity is soul healer, hence there to be creative. Here's what you should do. Write, draw, take photos, film videos, record audio, or take up public speaking. Find a fa favorite medium and unleash your creativity. Then notice how you feel and how you start changing. Jim Carrey reaches his, this conclusion. He said, in the final 10 minutes of your life, you will see that love is the answer. It's always was. Use love and self-love to change your world and understand that your uniqueness is a gift to the world. Never lose your authentic mindset, identity to an avatar mindset to fit better in a world that is craving 
authenticity. In short, always try to be yourself for whatever you stand. You are great as you are.